Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Outcast is the name. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a Revenant beginner guide. Now, a lot of new players are using him wrong. I was guilty of this too until very recently. Um, you'll see a lot of videos on why he's a tank, why he's the best. But a lot of people aren't really benefiting from that to the fullest extent because of one simple mistake so a lot of you will start off you'll get revenant from the quest line on cetus once you have revenant you're probably gonna build something similar to this it's they're all pretty easy to obtain other than maybe these two but you're gonna get them easy enough they're everywhere you I've got them because this gives me more invulnerability because I kept dying, which is pretty unnecessary on Revenant. And natural talent for the casting speed, that is very useful. But this is a similar build to what a lot of new players are going to do. I've whacked Vitality on for some health, Secrets for Strength, Duration, and Range, and I get the Set Boost. It's a terrible build. But it's what a lot of new players are going to be using. Something very similar. Potentially a little bit different. But very similar. So I'm going to show you what most new players love to do. Now guys, let's do a bit more of an in-depth explanation on his kit. For those that read it and don't quite understand what his abilities actually do, this is just going to make life a little bit more simple for you so you understand what you're doing and why you are doing it. His passive, shield depletion smashes enemies within 7.5 meters with a 100 damage knockdown shockwave. It's not gonna really come into play that much because he doesn't get hit. But if it does, it's, it's not the worst passive on the game. It will work and it will help you out. Now, in Thrall... Enthrall is a very, very simple ability. You essentially enthrall an enemy, turning it to cause on its own faction, and then spread the enthrall. If you use his augment mod, which I do not, but you can then use his three, which is Reeve, and you create a sentient energy wall, and you can dash through the enthralled enemies, and that will give you more stacks of his bread and butter, his Mesmer skin. So his Mesmer skin is very simple. You get six no charges of this when with no mods, no additions to him, you will get six charges. And how they work is you take a hit, it gets rid of a charge. You take another hit, another charge is gone. With the augment, by using Reeve through the enthralled enemies, you will regain stacks. The more power strength you have on him, the more stacks. The more charges and stacks of Mesmer skin you have, the more hits you can take. That's why the build is built for power strength, to really maximise survivability. Now... Dance Macabre, this is where a lot of new players get wrapped up in this ability. It's fun, you, you turn into a spinning top of death, and 
you'll notice early on that it actually does quite a lot of damage. But unfortunately you're wrong. Because as you move further into the game, this doesn't scale. So Steel Path enemies will feel very slow to kill. You won't do a lot of damage. You'll take a lot of hits. You'll lose a lot of your Mesmer skin. And quite frankly, it's just not really worth having. I keep it just for the fact that it's quite fun to use. And I'll explain how you can improve his kit, in my opinion. Especially for my build. But that's a bit more later on in the game. But this is the basic breakdown of how his kit works. Spinning top of death. Sentient wall of energy. Change sides, basically. You switch the enemy to your team. And Mesmer skin, which is just protection. You can't die with Mesmer skin on. The only problem with Mesmer skin is nullifiers. Nullifiers will completely remove this as it is an active ability. So don't be confused and think that you can just walk up and melee nullifiers. You will lose your Mesmer skin and die if you are on a high mission. But that is the breakdown of his basic kit. Now I'm going to show you how. Thankfully though guys, I have got you. This is my build to turn you from a terrible Revenant player like I was not too long ago, trust me, um, into a Revenant main that higher mastery rank players are going to look at you and be impressed. They're going to not have to carry you. They're not going to have to pick you up. You're not going to need help on Steel Path. You're not going to need help on any of the star chart. You're very rarely ever going to die. And overall... Revenant does do what he says on the tin. He is probably the best tank in the game right now. If you follow this easy, simple guide on how to play him correctly. So let's break down my build. And I'll show you. This is by no means end game. So I've not stuck on 58 formers. I've not spent countless plat on him. It's... It's not necessary when you're early in the game to expect people to be former in builds five or six times when you want to play different frames. So you want to keep a build as cheap as possible. Obviously, that being said, I'm using Arcane Energize because I am a bit further in the game and I do have one. However, that's not a big deal. You can simply swap it out for Arcane Aegis. It's very cheap to get. And at rank 5, on shields damaged, you get a 3% chance for plus 30% shield recharge for 12 seconds. Revan, with my build, has nearly a 1,000 shield. So, it's, it's great. It just keeps that stacked. But you're very rarely going to have shield damage if you play this build correctly. So, I also then run Molt Augmented as my second arcane as ability strength is key here. So I run Corrosive Projection to reduce enemy armor. Simple. Vigilante Pursuit just for the enemy radar because I had four capacity to kill. So I put that in. And this is the main build. So I'm running Natural Talent for that casting speed because it's, it's key to be casting as quickly as possible so the Steel Path enemies and the Acolytes don't one hit you while you're waiting for an animation to finish. You know the drama. Umbral Intensify for ability strength along with Aura Secrets, Blind Rage and Transient Fortitude to give us the 322% strength. If you're unsure how to get Umbral Intensify, it is from the quest line that gives you Excalibur Umbra. If you aren't sure on what that is, I can do a video explaining that in the future. If you don't have this, simply just put Intensify in for the ability strength. And you shouldn't see much decrease. Then I'm running Narrow Minded for the duration. And Primed Flow for the energy maximum and then auger message for duration efficiency and range not necessary on this build 
you're not going to use them very often and I'm going to show you now how to effectively play Revenant Prime. Now I'm going to show you how I improved it using the helmet system which you should be working towards as soon as you get to mastery rank 8 I believe it is. I could be wrong on that but I believe it's around mastery rank 8 you start being able or mastery rank 9 I think it is where you can start getting the helmet upgrade segment of your ship. And that's where you can really have some fun with this. So a lot of people will tell you that when you Helminth on Revenant, get rid of his fourth. His fourth is rubbish. You don't want to use the fourth. It does no damage. If you're early on in the game and you're not at Steel Path or you're not farming long Steel Path runs, his fourth ability is really fun. And a lot of new players like myself are going to enjoy it they're going to want to use it. it it's an aoe it's a cc ability it does lots of damage to the lower level enemies e even up to the 70s 80s ju it just drops off as you hit steel path so anything on your star chart you're going to have a lot of fun with this ability so don't get rid of this in my opinion remove his first one because if you're not using his augment Having two or three enemies on your team shooting is not really vital. It's not going to help you that much in the long run. And if you're not using his augment and using it to gain Mesma skin, there's really no point in this, guys. So I use Nourish as the main reason is it just gives me energy. If you don't want to spend 2000 Platinum on Arcane Energize, this is perfect. You get Grendel which the missions are a bit long, I'll admit, but you they're doable. You get Grendel, you Helminth Grendel, put Nourish straight on that first slot, energy problems solved, you're never going to run out of Mesma skin, you can spin till your heart's content, and it makes Revenant super fun to play. That has been my pro begin pro's beginner guide to Revenant and Revenant Prime. Hopefully, you'll die a lot less in the future now, and I really hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you want more guides, don't forget to drop a comment in the box below, and like and subscribe if you are new. That's all from me in this one. Peace.